family, friends, and new subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. Um, obviously, this video is about the 777 challenge. I just want to start off by thanking everybody who participated in my 21 day challenge in January. Oh my goodness, when I say there might have been 50 to 75 people that participated, and you guys, the results that came in are amazing. Guys, I'm just gonna tell you right now, it built my faith because the messages that I'm getting and I've been receiving in my DMs about what God has been doing in your lives, oh my goodness, it is amazing me. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, honestly, as a Christian, you shouldn't be surprised when God moves in your life, but oh my goodness, this has really been a part of building my faith in this season of my life. So I just wanna shout out to you guys and thank you for participating. So let's get right into the 7-7 challenge. So this challenge will take place for seven days and it will begin on March 11th, 2019. So friends, if you are seeing this later than March 11th, that's fine. Start on whatever day works best for you, um, but it's just going to be easier to keep up with it if you start on the same day as everybody else. Um, so welcome. This is going to be a fun one. Um, so apart from the seven days, the, the next two sevens is going to be seven minutes of prayer every day for the seven days and then seven scriptures so this is really easy because I'm gonna break down how you should pray and what is gonna what your prayers are gonna incorporate and the seven scriptures I'm gonna give them to you every single day so what I believe is gonna take place in this challenge is that you're gonna receive new insight into the Word of God so no longer will you just read it and it will just be like uh, I don't really know how this applies to my life, but I believe that it's going to hit you so powerful. And I pray, I pray God even right now that everybody that's watching will be impacted by this challenge. Everybody who takes on this challenge, God, will be impacted in the name of Jesus and that their lives will be changed. Father, I pray that you will reveal the mysteries of the world and the scriptures that they're going to read this week. Um, I pray that you de they develop a deeper prayer life with you, oh God. Um, and I pray that they um, develop a deeper love and passion for you and for your word in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, so let's get right up in there. Um, so the seven minutes of prayer are going to consist of this. The first three minutes of prayer will be spent thanking God for the things that he has done in your life and the things that he is going to do. It's very important that we begin every prayer with thanking God. The Bible tells us to do this. And honestly, you guys, it's not just a matter of thanking God. It's honestly a reminder to us. It's a reminder to ourselves of everything that God has done when we just begin our prayer by just giving um, up a thanksgiving to him. Okay, so the second three-minute section of your prayer is going to be asking God for spiritual gifts and long life and stuff that are not materialistic. For example, asking God to reveal to you where he would like you to go where he would like your life to go. Um, so the first scripture, seven um, verses that I'm gonna post are gonna be about spiritual gifts. So you guys understand what to ask for. Um, so there's no particular order to this. There's no time of day. Um, our last challenge, it was supposed to be done in the morning. That's not relevant for this challenge. So you can do it at any point that you would like. Um, I suggest doing it at a time where you can be most intimate with God. Like in the second half of your prayer, in the three minutes, I suggest also praying about the spiritual gifts you already can identify. So I'm going to send you guys the verses um, for spiritual gifts that Jesus said that he left down on earth with us. But if you can identify that you already have one of these spiritual gifts, pray about that as well. Because here's the thing, we might have a spiritual gift and we may not even realize it, but we have to submit it to God. So let's say um, a lot of the times when you're speaking to your friends and stuff like that, you can be like, girl, if you do this, this is gonna happen, da 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 da. That might, be, that might mean you have the gift of wisdom and knowledge. Um, let's say you say something out your mouth and then it happens. That means you're prophetic, right? But you just never been able to identify that before. So now that you're engaging in more scriptures about this, you're learning about it. But you have to submit it to God because then you're no better than a psychic. And psychics are demonic because their gifts are not submitted to God. Um, and the Holy Spirit will begin to um, teach you about your gift as well in this time. If you're somebody who dreams things and they come to life, um, that is a spiritual gift as well. Um, but it's very important that you submit it to God, like I said. And so the last minute of your prayer is going to be spent asking God for material things. So, for example, it's for paying your rent, 
or asking for a new job and yes this is only one minute of your prayer because guys honestly if you're a Christian God is gonna give you everything you need he knows your wants he knows your desires yes he desires for you to come to him in prayer and talk about these things because he wants you to talk to him like he is your friend he is your father and you know when you want advice you talk to your your natural father you talk to your friends about it um so yes I encourage you to ask him for these things but honestly don't spend the majority of your prayer asking for materialistic things because once you develop spiritually and you put the kingdom of God before anything else the Bible says that everything else will be given on to you and I will actually that should be another scripture for this week um so I look forward to hearing about how your journey is going also I'm probably gonna start a remind group and I'll post the number here and under my other post so that if you would like a morning reminder of what the verse is for the day and what the prayer setup is I can send that to you in every single morning for the next seven days. Um, so I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed and go in peace.